Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball, our double header break. Two cases, a jumbo case and a hobby case. So 28 spots, comment up the Rockies, Brewers, Rays, and Rangers, no vet commons ship. Good luck everybody. Big thanks everyone here for getting in on the action. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up and congrats again to the people who won their spots. And the teams with the combos right there. All right, let's roll it. Randomize names and teams two and a one three times. One, two, and three. Two and a one three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Easy. The Padres down to the Yankees. For three times, great, great, excellent. So here's how it shakes out. All right, Michael Gallucci with the San Diego Padres. Ross, you have the Reds. James with the Jays. Travis with the Phillies. Ron with the Royals. Zach with my Dodgers. Levi, the Colorado-Milwaukee combo. Billy with the Cardinals. Brian with the Mets. Matthew with the Tigers. Josh with the A's. Mike with the Angels. Uh, Brian with the Braves and the Red Sox. Stephen K with the Astros. William with the Nats. Jose with the O's. Josh with the Indians. Matthew with the Cubs. Mark with the White Sox. Travis with the Mariners. Barry with the Giants. Ross with the Twins. Brian with the Diamondbacks. Jeremy with the Pirates. Derek with the Marlins. Ross with the Rays Rangers combo. And Jeff with the New York Yankees. Right, so let's get all this on one screen here. We're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any uh, see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. So here's the hobby version right here. We'll do, we'll do hobby first, and then we'll close with the jumbo. That's the jumbo case back there. Big thanks once again to everybody who got into the action. Appreciate it. Kick back and relax. Settle in, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so uh, no vet common ship in this. the hobby boxes we're looking for two chrome autographs per box on average and I'll do an autograph recap at the uh, at the end of the break and let's try to I'll try to catch as many of the of those variations as much as possible I think they should be pretty pretty obvious but Whatever I don't catch immediately, our uh, our shipping team will will be our sorting and shipping team will keep an eye out for the as well. Yeah, there's there's the uh, here. I'll drop the checklist into the chat for everybody. Um, there's base image variation. There's a set there uh, consists of 20 cards, and then base super short print variations which includes uh, Kalanick, Mike Trout, Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, Mookie, Betts, and Joe Adele. So there's some super short prints as well. I think here is the uh, link to the variation guide. Let me drop that into the chat. Right, so try to catch as much of these as possible. I'm just, I'm just putting, putting my eyeballs on these really quick. Here's a quick look right here. Those packs aren't going anywhere. There's the Tatis diving, Alonzo pointing, sliding. See you, Mike. Yelich sliding, Trout looking, Trout pitching, Acuna sleeveless, Mount Castle throwing. I think most of them are like refractors, so maybe that'll help too. That's That Babe Ruth is really cool as well. 
There's the bets celebrating, sliding. Joey Bart hitting is the variation. Alec Baum catching. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. I think there should be numbers on the back, too. I think there's code numbers on the back. All right, good luck, everybody. 64 total autos, right? I think so. Two autos per box here, right? Two times 12 is 24. And then I think eight boxes and three autos per box in the jumbos. So eight times three is 24. Whatever that turned out to be, 48 autos. Or maybe there's more autos in the jumbo. Maybe are there five autos in jumbo? Uh, we'll find out in about an hour and a half. Maybe even less than that. Lions Steelers on the back on NFL Network. I don't know if this is a current game or not. What else do we have here? Jaguar Saints. Well, are we going to see? Is Trevor Lawrence going to get some snaps here? Well, it's going to take forever. Glue's too strong on these packs. Settle in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so Jumbo is maybe five per box. Okay, so that would be 40 autographs. That would be pretty nice. All right, hobby box number one. Good luck. Got Charlie Blackman, Hyper. Jose Abreu, Shoei Otani, it's pretty good. Randy Arozarena, I like that mid '80s sort of design on that Otani. Jock Peterson refractor, Verdugo. And our first autograph is going to be a redemption. Who are the redemptions in here? Ryan Hayes. And we've got the magenta or fuchsia speckle at Alberto Mondesi, 46 out of 350. That's for Ron and the Royals. The Cabrian Hayes will go to Jeremy and the Pirates. Chicago, in this particular doubleheader, no, it does not. And the description says, Vet Commons do not ship. There's our second autograph. That's uh, Nivaldo Rodriguez. The text is kind of small there. Astros, that'll be for Stephen K. And there's the blue wave, Ronald Acuna Jr. Brian and the Braves, it's 11 out of 75. And the redemption is going to be Gold Wave, Rookie Autograph Gold Wave Refractor Parallel. Phil Philadelphia, Spencer Howard. That's going to be for Travis and the Phillies.
All right, next box. James Winston win that starting job? I know it's a baseball break, but we've got a lot of time to talk about a lot of different sports. Yeah, he had that 30 touchdown, 30 interception season. That's crazy. James Winston look a little skinnier? It looks like he's uh, he's kind of trimmed down a little bit. Obi-Wan, what's going on? How are you? Yeah, Derek, right? Jameis is an enigma. Wrapped in a riddle. I think this move was good for him, though. He, like, kind of marinating behind Drew Brees for a season. But he looks, he looks skinnier, which is good. I think he may have looked a little too big at times, but he looks, looks trim. Good pass right there. Brian Hayes, and we've got a Kyle Cody rookie autograph for the Rangers. That's for Ross with the Rays Rangers combo. We've got a black and white Kevin Vigio for Toronto. That's going to be for James. Another Cabrian Hayes for Jeremy and Pittsburgh. And we got a Dean Kramer. That's what that gold wave is going to look like. Wow, he caught that? That's a nice... Nice pass by Jameis Winston, too. Dean Kramer for the Orioles. That's going to go to Jose. Two out of 50. There's Marcel Ozuna to 199. Senzel, eh? no, I don't think he's on the short print list. All right, next box.
Nice, yeah, me too. I, I would love to pull that, uh... I'd love to pull a Mookie Betts super short print. So the base cards end... So there's tiny little numbers on the back of these cards. Base cards will end in 310. Variation short prints end in 350. And then the uh, super short prints end in 356. So the Mookie Betts short, super short print is I think of him celebrating with uh, with Cody Bellinger. I think they're celebrating with uh, by uh, tapping each other's feet. I think this is when Bellinger messed up his shoulder doing a celebration. So they were celebrating toe tapping. Derek needs some jazz chisms. I did see uh, there have been some Jazz Chisholm rookie cards, but we, we want those parallels. Let's find some of those parallels. I don't know if does he have a does he have a short print? I don't think he has a short print though. So that's just the regular Mookie bets. And we got a nice uh, 102 out of 350. Fuchsia Speckled, Jared Walsh for Mike and the Angels. 102 out of 350. And a great year, Jared Walsh. And our first autograph is a Dodger. That's Mitch White. Blue autograph for Derek. No, I'm sorry. That's for Zach. Their names are right next to each other. Zachary with that one. 44 out of 150. He's been putting in some uh, good shifts during uh, bullpen days. A nice outing the uh, last time he was out. And we got Josh Fleming for the Rays. Ross with the Rays Rangers combo. Brian Hayes rookie card. All right. Another box. going on in baseball today. Not a lot of games today. Red Sox just keep winning. They they beat the uh, in a makeup game. They beat the Rangers 8-4. I think other games are just kind of in progress. I think Royals at Astros just started. Rockies up early on the Cubs 3-0 in the first. 
think the uh, Yankees and Braves are tied at one. White Sox at Blue Jays. They're scoreless after four. Pirates uh, down a run to the Diamondbacks in Pittsburgh. one nothing Diamondbacks, top of the fourth. Got a, the late game, Mariners-A's is a late game. Derek saying Cubs should just take the rest of the season off. Yeah. They probably should. <laughs> I'll help the draft position. Although I still believe in, I still believe in the idea that players don't tank. Front offices can tank, but it's, you know those players want to win games. Apostle, so I pr I'm pretty sure all of the short prints are going to be refractors, from what I understand. So if there's a refractor that looks like something different's happening, <laughs> that might be a sign that, hey, that could be a variation. And there is a uh, Cody Hewer. Rookie autograph for the White Sox. That's going to be for Mark. There's just the base Jazz Chisholm for Derek. Maybe we'll find some parallels of this guy. David Dahl. There's a Mookie Betts refractor. Uh, that's a, actually a short print too. There you go. Nice. You can see, I know it's kind of hard to see on this camera, but you can kind of make out the 350 right there. Rocky autograph. That's Ashton Godot. Part of the uh, Colorado Milwaukee combo. Levi with that one. All right, next box. Slick, what's up? My Royals spank the Cubs. No chance for a Kansas City postseason. So fun to watch. Royals have a... Yeah, you got that tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo, Levi. Royals have a... Yeah, the Royals have a pretty nice uh, future, right? They've got, they've got some youngsters in the pipeline. you got Bobby Witt Jr., guys like him, coming through the ranks.
They've got a good, uh, good young core of players, I think, coming through the ranks. And then, you know, the Royals probably, once, once the conditions are right, I could see them spending a little bit of money too. Some free agent or two once they once they need it. It's a nice pitch too, right? If uh, Patrick Mahomes is a part owner of that baseball team, they can just be like, "Hey, potential free agents want to hang out with Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> he could be a good recruiter." What's up, TJ? What's going on? Happy Monday. Did I, did, did everyone see that Giannis Antetokounmpo got a got a uh, part ownership situation? Got a little part ownership situation with the Brewers. Giannis must probably never have to pay for a meal in Milwaukee ever again. First of all, the guy stays with the Milwaukee, signs the signs the big extension, stays with the team, delivers a championship, you know, and gets involved with the Brewers. He's really setting down some roots there. All right, next box. There's a nice hyper jazz Chisholm. Pete Alonzo is just a refractor. That'll ship though. Albert Abreu, rookie auto for the Yankees. That goes to Jeff. Yeah, Derek saying well, his one championship, Giannis' his one championship, worth more than all of LeBron's. I think it's it's pretty significant, pretty important for Milwaukee. I think. Wow, Whataburger is now here in Kansas City because of Patrick Mahomes, and Patrick Mahomes delivering already. Well, there's got to be more. There's got to be some more Super Bowl titles under his belt too, right? There's got to be some more in the future. Nice. 34 out of 50, Gold Wave Ramon Laureano for the A's. And we've got a Mark Matthias autograph for the Brewers. That's going to be for Levi. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And a purple Willie Castro to 299 for Detroit. That's for Matthew Sharab. Nice, thank you, Martin. We still have a ways to go in this break, ladies and gentlemen, but once we're done, we'll go through orders and we'll see what we can line up on the schedule. Nice throw, Trevor Lawrence. To LaVisca Chenault Jr. All right, looks like that Diamond Icons uh, figure team 29 filler has sold out, so we'll do that box after this break. And then the next box, Diamond Icons 30, is just down to six teams left. So we can do a couple boxes back to back if you'd like. Immaculate Baseball has a uh, number block attached to it. Ooh, what is that? A relic card. Let's check out who that is in, in a moment. 
Uh, Immaculate Picker Team 3 is sold out, but the teams that were remaining are now in a random number block scenario. 7 of 10 left on that. You can do that pretty quickly. Is that the case hit? The relic is the case hit. Chicago saying. Next hobby box. Good luck. And we got a green wave, twenty-seven ninety nine. Eduardo Escobar for Brian and the Diamondbacks. got a Jordan Holloway autograph for Derek and the Miami Marlins. Rookie auto for the fish. And a Jazz Chisholm refractor. the relic. It, ooh, it's Ken Griffey Jr. Nice. Captain's Cloth relic. Ken Griffey Jr. And that'll be for the M's. That's going to go to Travis and the Mariners. Not numbered, but looks really sharp. I dig that. got Tyler Zuber. Royals autograph. That's going to go to Ron. Last spot mojo strikes again. Zuber posted the lowest ERA among Royals farmhands with at least 50 innings in 2019. Got a new changeup. Royals, Royals have a, an interesting future. There's John Lester, black and white. Halfway through the hobby case, then we still have the jumbo case to go. James Winston, five for six and a touchdown. And after we finish both cases, we will do an autograph uh, recap at the end and whatever variations and other stuff kind of stand out. 
Does anyone know uh, how many variations we should expect per hobby and jumbo case on average? We saw one. We saw Mookie Betts short print. I don't know if we should expect more or less. Or maybe it's just all over the place. Maybe some cases have a lot, some cases don't. for the Saints being carted off. He's got his left shoe off. Winston looking good. All right. Next hobby box. Let's go. Ooh, nice uh, green shimmer. Mike Trout, 52 out of 99. Mike Krasinski and the Angels. I, I know it's not a rookie. Those are the only top letters we have right now. Nice. And we got another Jordan Holloway holograph for uh, holograph, holograph, <laughs> autograph for <laughs> Derek and the Marlins. Refractor Auto to four ninety nine. That's another TD for Jameis Winston. touchdown to Marquez Callaway. Hmm. Got another green here. That is Lorenzo Cain, 38 out of 99. Levi with the Brew Crew. And a Trevor Rogers autograph. Nice rookie auto for Derek and the Fish. This could be your uh, NL Rookie of the Year right here. Having a strong season. Got a purple Brandon Woodruff to 299. Ozzy Alves. Refractor. Not a short print. Next box. Yeah, that's 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 the trouble. Pitchers don't get a lot of a lot of respect in the hobby and the secondary market. I feel like they're kind of like wide receivers, right? There's just a lot of pitchers.
Marquez Callaway, five targets, five receptions, 104 yards, two TDs. James Winston's decision making getting better. The Jaguars sent the house. James Winston was not was not concerned. No, I don't think anyone's guarding that guy. Just just one lonely defensive back was chasing after Callaway. It was just a nice pass by Jameis Winston too. Remember when Jameis Winston, um, after that 30 interception season, and then I think in the offseason he had moved on to the Saints, I think he had uh, corrective eye surgery. That, that might have that been it. 321 out of 399, Davey Garcia. Maybe he just, maybe he just needed to, to get just better eyesight was all it took. Maybe those were the... That could account for a number of those interceptions. There's uh, Brian Garcia. Rangers autograph, or Rangers, Tigers autograph going to Matthew Shira. Davey Garcia, Fuchsia goes to Jeffrey and the Yankees. That can't be a variation right now. I want to see more variations. There's Zach McKinstry, rookie auto for the Dodgers. Zach going to Zach and the Dodgers. Joe Adele is pretty good. We can find some parallels for Joe Adele. Cabrian Hayes going to Jeremy and the Buckos. Four more hobby boxes to go. Then we've got the jumbo case. We're getting there, folks. Thank you. We'll go through. Uh, I'm sure, we'll, there'll be a lot of orders to go through after this. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Trevor Lawrence kind of looking like a rookie here. Does Trevor Lawrence start week one? Taysom Hill. 
in on the action. Famous Winston's day is done. Hobby box. Good luck, everyone. A couple more autographs in here. There's a Cabrian Hayes refractor for Jeremy and the Pirates. That's nice. And we got a Jay Cronenworth, 102 out of 399 fuchsia. That'll be for Michael and the Padres. We've got a blue Carlos Correa, 66 out of 150. And a uh, Yerman Mercedes, White Sox. Autograph, Mark, with the White Sox. What a, what a start to the season he had. Luan Diaz, Refractor for the Marlins. Carlos Correa goes to Stephen K. Got a Jemai Jones. It's kind of a cool looking autograph for the uh, for the Halos. That's gonna be Mike Krasinski. All right, three boxes to go in the hobby the hobby case and then we'll do the jumbo case. the uh, top of the order for the Yankees coming up. Still tied with the Braves 1-1. Yankees are playing some excellent baseball. They're really heating up. Thomas, could, could the Yankees win the division? I mean, there's still like two weeks left in August, another full September, and four and a half back. They're right there. That's kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, they've won nine of their last 10. They're on a nine game winning streak. They've been on a tear. I don't know, you like waited all summer for that. What is it, is just, everything's just clicking now? They're hitting, pitching, it's all the same.
that offense is waking up. In the AL Central, I think the White Sox are cruising. They, they're nine and a half games ahead of Cleveland. In the AL West, yeah, Oakland's still in the mix. Oakland's only three and a half back of the Astros. Oakland's still looking for the stadium deal. I don't know if they're going to get one from Alameda County, but hopefully they'll figure it out. It'll be figure out a way for them to stay. There's Hyper, Mookie Betts. And there's 53 out of 99, Buster Posey, green. My rivals, Barry, for the Giants. Another Jazz Chisholm refractor for Derek in Miami. And a hyper Jazz Chisholm. Pretty exciting player there. Buster Posey. And an Eddie Alvarez autograph. There you go, Derek. Marlin's looking pretty good in this break. Jazz Chisholm's autographs. Good randomizer. There's Walker Bueller. It's just a regular refractor. And all those base Jazz Chisholm's will go to you as well. I'm just trying to highlight the parallels a little bit more, especially in this very long break. And wow, Nick Neidert, personal box for Derek. Two autographs, both for him, both Marlins. All right, two more hobby boxes to go, then the jumbo case. I'm getting there. What about what's happening in the NL East? The Braves are looking like Braves have won nine of their last ten. So two hot teams facing each other right now. Yankees, Braves tied at one, top of the six, runner on first. Most of you should be able to get this on the MLB network. But the Braves have stretch their NL East lead to five games over the Phillies. Mets are only are seven games back. Mets Mets have been playing have been playing some tough baseball. They're only won two of their last ten. Got to get back on track. They want to get back into this. Brewers seem like they're cruising, right? They're seven and a half games ahead of the Reds. Although the Reds have won four in a row. What's going on with the Cardinals? I thought the Cardinals would be a lot better this season. I feel like on paper they always have like these. I feel like on paper look team looked really good, but they're 12 games behind Milwaukee. Maybe the starting pitching hasn't really worked out. They've got some hitters on that team. They got Nolan Arenado. I thought that was going to be a big difference maker. Just didn't work out. Definitely surprised. I'll admit it. Definitely surprised about the Giants. They're two and a half games ahead of my Dodgers. Well, the Dodgers have won nine of their last ten. First loss in that streak coming last night. But they've won nine of their last ten, and they're two and a half games behind the Giants. I, just, I didn't think the Giants would be would have 80 wins at this stage of the season. That's lead. That yeah, that leads Major League Baseball. I mean, maybe you could have convinced me. Yeah, the Giants will be good. But 80 wins good at this stage of the season? Anyone see that happening? Not me. Maybe, I mean, outside of San Francisco. Yeah, Derek's, I don't think anyone saw that coming. Outside of San Francisco, I don't think anyone saw that coming.
right, next box, good luck. There's a Mookie Betts Refractor, which will ship. It's Charlie Blackman Refractor. Ooh, nice. And an orange Javier Baez. Love the orange parallel. 7 out of 25. Matthew Shira with the Cubs. And a gold Tyler Zuber autograph. Ron Shepard with the Royals. Last spot mojo strikes again. 23 out of 50. That Yelich wasn't a variation. Joey Bell's been playing some good baseball. Should be one more auto in here. There it is. Will Craig, Pirates. It's Jeremy. the final hobby box and then the jumbos I opened up the uh, let's look at the Giants roster I mean I guess they're they're I mean Kevin Gossman's been having an incredible season they've got a solid bullpen yeah I just didn't see this I just didn't see this happening Right, Buster Posey's turning back the clock. Brandon Crawford, some could argue, is having a MVP caliber season. The Chris Bryant edition was great. They just have a lot of solid dudes. John Carl will stand up to bat. Ooh, and golf's one into. Wow, what a hit by John Carl Stanton. There you go, two run double. Yankees up 3 1. Hit. He kind of kind of stayed with that ball, golfed it into left field, he just went all the way to the wall. Yeah, it was a slider. He dug it out at the bottom of the strike zone. There you go, just putting the ball in play. That was gonna be a ground rule double for a second. That short left wheel left field wall.
We've got a Fuchsia, Eloy Jimenez, 169 out of 399 for Mark. And the uh, White Sox. And we got a Paven Smith rookie auto for Brian Crouch and the Diamondbacks. We'll try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo there. He's one of the one of the bright spots coming up the ranks for the Diamondbacks. I think a lot of people are signing right here instead of across. I guess the the design kind of makes it look like you're supposed to sign that way. Nice Otani Refractor. Not a variation, but AL MVP right there. And we've got, what is this, an Aqua Wave here? Rugnet Odur, 136 out of 199 for the Rangers. I'm just keeping track of autos. That was our first autograph out of the box. Rangers, Ross for the Rays Rangers combo. And there is uh, Miguel Yahure, 291 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Yankees. Jeffrey Lobot over that. Brady Singer refractor. All right, the hobby case done. All right, jumbo case time. And we'll do that autograph recap at the end of the break. All right, jumbo. Force is saying, I think the autos kind of look nice with that angle. Uh, yeah, I think I agree. He's saying they look nice with the angle. I don't mind it either. All right. So, yes, there are five chrome autographs per box on average. Good luck. Padres having a rough time. They they just fired their pitching coach. Wild card wise, well the Yankees looking for a division, but Wild card teams, Yankees and Red Sox would be the wild card teams. Oakland's on the outside looking in unless they can win the division. They're just a half game back. Seattle three and a half games back. See you, Jesse. Have a good one, man. Toronto maybe an outside chance. I feel like Toronto's going to be a scary team in a the next season or two with all those youngsters. Yeah, Derek needs the Padres to keep choking in the NL. Well, let's look at the NL wild card. So it's Dodgers Reds. Oh, Dodgers Reds, Derek. In that in that wild card spot. Yep, San Diego's just a game behind a wild card spot. Cardinals are four and a half back. Philadelphia's five back. Mets are seven back. All right, good luck, folks. Five autos a box in this stuff.
And our first auto is going to be Yerman Mercedes. We're in the jumbo case now. That's going to go to Mark and the White Sox. We got uh, Corey Kluber to two ninety nine. Purple for Ross and the Rangers. And there's an autograph. That's a uh, Seth Elridge. For Billy and the Cardinals. That might be the first uh, Cardinals autograph we've seen. We got a gold Christian Javier autograph. Stephen K with the Astros. He's got Christian Javier has got top of the rotation stuff. It's 46 out of 50, third autograph. Pete Alonzo is just a regular refractor, not a short print. I think the, what's Pete Alonzo doing in his short print? Oh, he's, he's giving you the point. He's running down the third baseline, giving you the point. That's the Pete Alonzo. Got a George Springer to 150, still Astros edition there. And we've got a Tucker Davidson rookie autograph for, uh, for Brian G, for Brian Giddens and the Atlanta Braves. Down a couple runs right now. Ozzy Alves. And there's Jonathan Stiver. Oh, so that was our fourth autograph. The Braves autograph was the fourth one. And then Jonathan Stiver for the White Sox, Mark. Could be a pretty scary team in the playoffs. There's your five. Austin Meadows, Refractor, not a short print. Next box, we've got Luis Robert and Ronald Cunha on the cover, in case you're wondering. Who's on the hobby boxes? Oh, same guys. All right, next jumbo box, another five autos. Maybe we'll spot some more variations here too. Pirates, Will Craig. One forty-four out of one fifty. Pirates, Jeremy. 
I don't want to be that guy, sub Logan, but did icons just get the teams added back to just buy them? I don't think so. Oh, Logan, remember the uh, the number block that sold out is uh, for break 29. And break 30 is a different box that has four teams left. And we got Josh Fleming for the Rays. That's going to be for Ross and the Rays-Rangers combo. To Maeda, not a short print, but a fun picture. And there's Juan Soto, 49 out of 399. Michael Conforto. No, I thought that was a short print. It's not, but it's still refractor. I'll still go to the Mets. And we've got an Evan White autograph. Seattle, Travis. Remember, folks, for those number blocks, we'll always put the uh, we'll always put the number of the break that it's number blocking, right? So for diamond icons, it'll say pick your team twenty nine for that number block. So you can kind of def differentiate. I know there's a lot of text on the site, but just something to keep an eye out for. If you can, Luis Garcia, black and white. Chris Bubich. And we've got a... Roel Ramirez autograph, rookie auto for the Cardinals. It's going to be for Billy. It's four autographs, looking for one more. And there it is. There's Julian Merriweather. James with Toronto. for autos unless there's a bonus auto hiding in here somewhere. And we got an Alex Bregman parallel. 112 out of 199 for Steven. The Nolan Arenado refractor. Next jumbo box. We're getting there, folks. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Did the MLB Network just did the uh, or the television broadcast just did a exterior shot of the Braves ballpark, which I think just opened a couple years ago. Right, it looks nice. I want to I want to go visit that ballpark. Truest park. All right, another five autographs. Good luck, everybody. This is our double header. 
dual case break. And we've got Ashton Godot, Rockies autograph, Levi. Austin Meadows, Refractor. And we've got a David Peterson, 39 out of 399, Fuchsia Parallel for Brian Crouch and the Mets. Shinsu Chu. And a uh, Cody Hewer, Chicago White Sox, Mark. Tanner Hawk. We got a black and white, Dansby Swanson, and an Aaron Fletcher, Mariners autograph for Travis. Trout Refractor. Not a short print, but still nice. Still Trout. Mike with the Angels. Let's look for some short prints. I'd love to see a Mike Trout short print. I think that's just the regular Mount Castle as well, Refractor. The Trout short print, there's one of him that's the super short print is the one of him pitching. Kind of doing a pitching pitcher stance. And the short print is just uh, him... Uh, just a headshot of him. His eyes, and maybe he looks like he's in the dugout, his eyes looking off into the distance. And we've got a uh, Jorge Ona. Rookie autograph for Michael Gallucci and the Padres. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., 29 out of 50. David Dahl. Ramon Laureano, Refractor. And there's a Brady Singer Blue Wave autograph for Ron and the Royals. One forty three out of one fifty. And a Trevor Story refractor. All right, another five autographs in the books. Another jumbo box on its way. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen, almost there. I think I'll be just about right with the with the time.
All right. Next one, another five autos. Let's go. Uh, I would love to see a train whistle in here somewhere. It would be nice, right? There is Cody Whitley, purple chrome autograph for Billy and the Cardinals. 86 out of 250. Out of fives and under, train whistle. Maybe a red parallel, maybe a one of one, a super fractor would be nice. There's a black and white Vlad Guerrero Jr. He might be the man that stands in the way of, uh, of an MVP for Shohei Otani. It's either gotta be him or Shohei. Ooh, a Jazz Chisholm super fractor? That'd be nice. We got a redemption here. Any guesses on that redemption? We got Ahmed Rosario, 289 out of 350. Fuchsia, Speckle. For the Mets, of course, that's going to go to Brian Crouch. And we got a Mitch White autograph for Zach and the Dodgers. a Monty Harrison autograph for Derek and the Marlins. Jorge Soler refractor. We got a Chadwick Trumpf Autograph for the Giants, Barry Roberts. Carlos Santana, 166 out of 299. Jack Flaherty, and let's see what the fifth autograph is going to be. So behind Patrick Corbin, hyper parallel going to William. Someone else is due to receive a rookie autograph of... B, Boston? A, Baltimore. Baltimore Orioles, Keegan Aiken. Jose with the O's. Fifth autograph right there. Kurt, what's going on? Yes, it was nice to meet both of you at the National. It was nice. That's why we love going out to those things. With faces to names and all that. No, I don't think we got too much. Uh, I don't think got too much sleep that week. It was a lot of fun. El Canon, what's going on? Oh, there's Doc Peterson. That's right. He's a brave.
So we are about, we are halfway through this jumbo case. Got four boxes left in this entire break. We should be done with this in about another, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Definitely gonna refuel after this. And then we'll get to uh, the next slate of breaks. But I'm happy that we got this uh, double header out of the way. So thanks very much, everybody. Whether you bought spots straight up or bought spots in those fillers, I appreciate it. Got her done. All right. Let's keep going here. We got a Jimmy Lambert. White Sock autograph going to Mark. From San Dimas, that's right around here. Southern California guy, about an hour east of here. Did you get anything cool out of those uh, those boxes, El Cano? Taking a study break, nice. We're still looking for, we've done a, I feel like Sean has done a ton of personal boxes of this. And I'm, I'm working through a double header. We have not seen a, a train whistle hit. Nothing out of fives and under. No super fractors or anything like that. No red. Uh, there's Jojo Romero. Phillies. Travis. 002 out of 199. Nice Joe Adele refractor. I think that might be a, a short print. Yeah, it is a short print. So the base one is is him just in his stance, and the variation is him completing the swing right there. Nice one for the Halos. That's going to be for uh, for Mike. Mike Krasinski with that. Ooh, nice. You got a Jazz Chisholm auto and a Gold Wave auto of William Contreras. It's Wilson's brother. In the uh, Braves organization. There's Clark Schmidt. Jeffrey and the Yankees. Santana. Got a black and white Byron Buxton, Minnesota. Ross. We've got an Alex Kirloff rookie auto. Another twin for Ross. It's Kyle Tucker, refractor. And we got a Jared Olivia. Oliva, that is. Pirates. Autograph for Jeremy. And find his teammate. Four twelve out of four ninety nine. Jack Flaherty, Fuchsia, one oh two out of three ninety nine. Four five. Okay, so there, there's our five autographs. All right, three boxes to go. Yeah, this has been a solid, pretty solid break so far. The nice short print, Kirloff Auto solid. We still have 
Five, 10, 15 autographs to go. Plus more variation opportunities. There's Tanaka, Refractor. And we got a Gold Wave, Brandon Bielek. Autograph for Stephen K and the Astros. 11 out of 50. Jay saying it's gonna be weird when that box is Fanatics Chrome in 2025. I don't know if they. I don't think they would drop the tops name, would they? There's Paul Goldschmidt, 54 out of 75. Casey Mize Refractor as well, Detroit. I could see it being like tops Chrome, like. Tops a fanatics company like right underneath or something like that. It's gonna be interesting to see how all that shakes out. Ooh, and there's Jacob Degrom. Uh, 92 out of 99 Captain's Cloth. Let's see one per uh, one per case situation here. Um. Yeah, I mean I, that's that's that seems to be the prevailing speculation is like why would you know why would Fanatic get all that licensing? The next logical step seems to be hey they're gonna they're gonna go after a company like Tops. It's Andre Scrub, Astros, Stephen K, Mike Trout Refractor. Not a variation, though. Yeah, I'm assuming Tops and Fnatic can come to an equitable merger, El Canon saying, but Fnatic kind of has all the cards, right? They could keep waiting them out. And you'd be like, what are you gonna do without the license? Good luck, good luck producing non-licensed stuff. There's Mitch White. Dodgers autograph, Zach. With my Dodgers. Right, yeah, and, and they, they, they tank their whole uh they tank the whole, uh, you know, going public move. That's off the books now. Now that Fanatics has all this licensing power, they can start making moves on Raphael Devers on companies like Tops or Panini and Panini. You know, they got the basketball, they got the NBA um, Players Association license too. Why not? Why not go after Upper Deck? They got, imagine leveraging uh, 
leveraging your influence, just buy upper deck. There's JT Brubaker for the Pirates. And then you'd have access to those uh, exclusive LeBron and Michael Jordan autographs. Be a big splash for Fanatics basketball. Jeremy with the Pirates. And there's Luis uh, Basabe. Luis Basabe for the Giants. Barry with San Francisco. Yeah, I don't think this is the, uh, for, you know, Fanatics making moves on all those licenses. This is not their, that's not their only, that's not the only move they're going to make. I think this is the beginning of the beginning, the opening move on a chessboard, you know. And yeah, I don't think they're going to abandon, you know, like brands like like tops. Mm-hmm. You're you're spot on, Jay. Yeah, this is gonna be about about the digital market as well. I think that's always been a holy grail of since digital cameras were invented. <laughs> you know, since everyone had digital files of photos, that was the. That was the holy grail, right? How do you add a digital angle? To, I don't think trading cards are going to go away, right? I think, you know, this trading cards have been around for a very long time. I think people still like it, the tangible element to, to the hobby. I don't think that's going away, but I think we're going to start to see more viable digital options, and that's going to be, yeah, NFTs is going to be a part of it. Sort of an exciting time for the hobby if you think about it. I know stuff like Top Shot has, uh, you know, has been captured the imagination of a lot of people. And there's some pros and cons there of Top Shot. And there's things they could do better and things they they do really well. And. As the years go on, it'll just continue. They'll continue to refine, refine, refine. Yeah, well, that, exactly. Top Shot kind of plummeted a few months back. It's true, El Cano, but but uh, a lot of lessons learned. I'm sure. And there's just certainly ways to a lot of lessons learned on how to make that better. How to do releases better? I mean, this is just the this is just the beginning. For the Cardinals, purple chrome autograph, Ruel Ramirez, another one for Billy. Ooh, I'm just gonna run out of top loaders. Hang on a second. Let me go grab some some more. There's Dane Dunning. regular top loaders now, not the ones that say rookie card on them. That's our backup supply. <laughs> yeah, that Joe that Joe Jaspi NFT is gonna be the hot commodity. I hope. Eighteen out of one ninety nine, Trevor Story, Aqua. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, I think it's I think just from our group breaking perspective, you know, I think we're going to be, it's going to be very interesting to see where we, uh, interesting to see um, where we're going to be at. Because there'll be, I think there'll be a lot of interesting opportunities. You know, and the boss man, Nick's dad, 
He's he's been around the hobby for a long time. Here's another Trevor Rogers autograph for the Marlins, Derek. And during the trade window for this break, we were we were just chit chatting a little bit about about a few businessy things here and there, but there's Tristan McKenzie. Took a perfect game to the eighth a couple starts ago. But yeah, so we've got we've got a little uh, we've got a little connection with with fanatics. There's some people that we can kind of talk to. We'll see what comes of it. But no secret that that, that Nick Jaspi's dad has been around the block in the hobby. Knows a lot of people. But that remains for us. Means for us. TBD. 153 out of 499, Cody Hewer. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of new breakers, a lot of new shops, looking to make moves, trying to get distribution. Let's see how Fanatics, how, let's see how they're going to handle, you know, distribution as well. That could be really interesting. So interesting times, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting times. That Bryce Harper, I think, is a variation. Yeah, it is. So this Bryce Harper, where he's given his teammate the fist pound. Yeah, the one him of him completing a swing is the base. The one given given his teammate the fist pound. That's the short print. You can see in tiny numbers, it's 50 down here. So that will be for Travis and the Phillies. Oh, there's an autograph. We got Brian Garcia. Matthew Shira with the Tigers. What's going on here? Huh. He's one of those weird toddlers some to every once in a while. There's like a little spot of glue right there. So I couldn't push the card down. That's what it was. There we go. There's Giancarlo Stanton. That is it's a regular Giancarlo Stanton refractor. That will ship though. Got Masahiro Tanaka to 99 and a Zach McKinstry autograph for Zach and my Dodgers. Yeah, I hear you, Jay. Yeah, it seems like the light is shining. Light is has switched on for Tristan McKenzie. He's 2-1, two, two 193 ERA and four starts this month, striking out 28 and 28 innings. He's pretty, yeah, he's pretty good. Two, three, four, five autographs. All right, and final five. Nick Stover, what's up? You hope Fanatics completely gets rid of redemptions. You've been waiting on a few over the, well, I don't think that's going to change. Remember, redemptions are uh, really mostly on the player and not necessarily on the company. But I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe Fanatics is uh, sort of maybe Fanatics uh, kind of influence in the industry, in the sports industry. Maybe it'll be easier for them to secure autographs. You need things, no, I'm good, Thomas. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. So yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe they're able to streamline the process. Yeah, Indians have a great rotation, Jay. I think I feel like I feel like they're on the cusp of uh, of being dangerous again.
But yeah, you know the Players Association kind of likes... From the Players Association part, for them, they'd rather just... I think it's almost been sort of a holy grail for them, I want to say, to just deal with one company for all trading cards. And they might be working towards that, with, especially with this big Fanatics deal. And yeah, that hopefully that'll be better for us as the, as the consumer. Maybe that means less redemptions. Maybe that means, you know, less uh, less product being delayed or pushed back. Maybe it'll all be under one house. So there there's some a lot of advantages. Got an Astros autograph. That's a Noli Paredes. Astros, Stephen Cave. And D.D. Gregorius looks like it would be a redemp uh, redemption. It looks like it would be a short print, but it is not. It's a great picture, though. Great photography. There's Yohan Mankata, 007. Do -do 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 -do. At a 199 for the White Sox. And a Cabrian Hayes refractor. And the Yoan Mankata Aqua Wave will go to Mark and the White Sox. Edgar Martinez, Castanera. And we got Victor Gonzalez. Nice. Strong, uh, strong reliever for the Dodgers. Going to Zach and my boys in blue. Justin Upton, Refractor. And the Yankees scoring some more runs. Man, they're playing some good baseball. And Oakland A's auto. That's, uh, that's Jonah Heim. Josh with the A's. And that Lucas Giolito is not a variation, but a cool shot. Almost done, ladies and gentlemen. There's Joe Adele, Alejandro Kirk, Blue Wave to 75, Luis Patino. Let's see if a new pitching coach for the Padres helps him out. Or the, I guess, interim pitching coach. They, they just fired theirs the other day, yesterday, today maybe. We got a Tigers autograph. That's Bo Burrows, Detroit. I don't know if the short prints can be autographed. It would be cool, though. Cardboard Connection says there's no parallels, though, in the short prints, according to them. I think that's what I remember reading. Yeah, the... Im uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the, oh, the super short print cards don't have parallels, apparently. I don't know if they can be autographed, possibly. But I guess the, the short prints can have parallels. The super short prints... No parallels. And there's Dean Kramer, our fifth and final autograph of the box, and our last autograph of the 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball double header break. And that's out of 150 for the Orioles, Jose with the O's. All right. Thanks very much, everybody. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap from the most recent autograph to the oldest autograph. Recap, autograph recap, the one per case relics, and maybe some and, and some of the, the variations that we spotted as well. Okay, 
big thanks everybody for making this happen. I appreciate all the people who were uh, who were chatting with me throughout the throughout the break. Kind of helped helped it go move a little bit uh, more quickly for me, which I appreciate. That Ken Griffey Jr. Captain's card is nice. Captain's relic. There's the Mookie Betts short print. And Spencer Howard, and way back, about a hour, two hours ago, our first autograph was for the Astros, Nivaldo Rodriguez, and plus a ton of uh, a ton of you know numbered cards that we're gonna top load that our shipping team will top load before they get sorted out. So a lot of great stuff. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for uh, for completing this break and for sticking with me throughout this break. I really appreciate it. I'm Joe Jaspi. I'll see you next time for the next one on jaspiescasebreaks.com.